Now, top story of the day. Yeah, this is the top story of the day. We've got Bob Zio with the Revolutionary War Veterans Association. He's right there right now. He's going to tell us about the Appleseed Project. But we, hey, Bob, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, James? Yeah, I'm doing good. T give us a little background before you get us into this. Tell me a little bit about the Revolutionary War Veterans Association. I don't know anybody that's alive from the Revolutionary War, so give me a little, <laughs> give us a little background on how that came about and why that name was chosen before we go forward. Well, the, uh, the Revolutionary War Veterans Association started in 2006, and it was put together by some folks that felt that, uh, you know, rifle marksmanship played a, a great part in our, uh, in our history, in our heritage, in our country. And Revolutionary War Veterans Association is is all about making sure that the Revolutionary War vets are never forgotten, our founding fathers and the sacrifices they made. And so we incorporate that into our rifle marksmanship clinics, uh, incorporating his history and heritage presentation along with the, the weekend clinic. Okay, all right. Now that explains that. And you've been with the organization for how long? Oh, uh, the first uh, first Appleseed Clinic that I actually attended was in 2006, which was the first year that the project started. Okay. They nice. had 18 Appleseeds uh, nationwide with just over 1,000 participants. And uh, from there, uh, it just about doubled every year. Uh, in 2007, we had 47 Appleseeds with uh, nearly 1,900 folks that participated. Uh, 2008 saw us at 138 Appleseeds with uh, 3,700 uh, participants. And 2009, we're looking at uh, nearly 400 apple seeds across the nation this year, and uh, we're looking at about 10,000 folks that should be attending. Okay. Tell, now, now, tell me a little bit about the apple seed project. Uh, tell me about the motivation involved there. I, you touched on it, but I just want the folks to understand that this is to help not only marksmanship and not only to uh, maybe get you back into shooting your rifle a little bit, but there's also an education that goes along with it in our country's history, correct? Absolutely. Basically, uh, at an apple seed, you will be uh, taught how to uh, shoot standing, sitting, and prone positions. We'll teach you how to use your sling to steady those positions. We'll teach you the six steps of taking the shot, natural point of aim. We'll teach you the inches to minutes to clicks conversion so that you can learn to set your sights on your particular rifle. And then we couple that with American Revolutionary War history and the heritage of, uh, an, of the American riflemen. We like to say that we take American rifle owners and turn them into American rifle men, and we'll tell them the difference and why that's important to our country. Okay, so, uh, that, so this is done in this is done in a two-day rifle marksmanship okay. clinic, uh, where we we do this on a on a weekend for two days. It's family oriented uh, because we're a an all a volunteer nonprofit group. We try to keep costs down to a minimum, so we charge eighty dollars for the two days of rifle marksmanship and heritage and fifty dollars for just one day and if you pre-register online you save five dollars per day we ask folks to go onto our website and pre-register so it gives us a better idea of how many folks are actually going to show up this helps us to make sure that we've got the event properly staffed and uh, allows us to bring enough targets and t-shirts oh by the way for two days of registration you also get a free t-shirt hey good hey send me one will you <laughs> yeah, I'll, you I'll register I promise <laughs> As a matter I'm sorry? Of fact, as a matter of fact, you're going to have one of those shoots, and one's going to go on in California. I think you're doing it in, what, next couple of weeks? Oh, actually, we have quite a few upcoming shoots in California. Uh, the next shoot's coming up August 1st and 2nd, and that's in Lakeport, California, at the Canoctai Gun Range. Also, we'll have a shoot in Sacramento at the Sacramento Valley Shooting Center on August 15th and 16th. Uh, we have an event in Piru at West Thompson's Piru Rifle Range, which is our uh, uh, Appleseed home range here in, in California, and that will be held August 22nd and 23rd. We will also have uh, another shoot in, in Fresno at the Fresno Rifle Pistol Club, August 29th and 30th. And we have some uh, a special event that's happening uh, in Fresno. We also offer what we call the Rifleman's Boot Camps, which is a week-long rifle marksmanship clinic. Mm. And it engages the, the same type of things that Appleseed does, but there's camping involved and a lot of more camaraderie, and there's a lot more uh, known or full-distance shooting uh, at these Rifleman boot, boot Camps. And the one upcoming in Fresno starts August 23rd and goes throughout the week uh, till August 30th. Okay. Also, we will having a, uh, be having a shoot in Castro Valley, which is up in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. at Chabot Gun Club, mm -hmm. September 5th and 6th. Okay. Now, we're also having 
shoots nationwide uh, several uh, every weekend, so I would invite folks to go ahead and visit our website and take a look at the Appleseed schedule there online, and uh, there should be a shoot near you every weekend uh, of, the, of the year now. Now, and I also seem to remember, either, either I read it or you told me about it, that if you have a range or an area that you would like to host Appleseed, that you work with folks to do that, is that correct? Yeah, we call this the Designated Appleseed Range Program. And we always tell folks, uh, first of all, uh, if you don't want to drive or you've driven a long distance, if you have a range near your house, please contact us either at the website or one of our uh, instructors will get you in touch with somebody and we can set up a, a, a shoot at a range nearer you. The other thing that we look for in this Designated Appleseed Range Program is either ranges that are allowing to lease their firing lanes but even more importantly, folks that have private land that would have a nice natural backstop that we could possibly set up an apple seed range there. Now we, we come fully insured and we have our own instruction, our own courses of fire and point of instruction. We bring our own targets and, and the whole program's uh, ready to go. Uh, so if folks have land that they'd be willing to allow us to uh, host one of our clinics, uh, we'd be more than uh, interested in that. Okay, so, so let me just put this quick scenario together. I have a piece of property. I think that this would be a nice place to host one of the Appleseed projects. I happen to be having, oh, 25 or 30 friends and family members at the same time. Can I do something like that? That would be ideal. Okay. Obviously, we'd want to take a look at the uh, piece of property and make sure oh, that yeah, it's sure. safe because obviously safety is first with us. Right. But, uh, yes, absolutely, that's what we're looking for. So we can build this around maybe an event that we want to have some people come out to, and we can walk away with history of our great country, and we can walk away as better marksmen. And probably the most important is what I'm hearing is I can bring the whole family. It's a very family-oriented uh, weekend. We've got it set up so that women and children 20 and under shoot for free. So you can bring the whole family and as the uh, husband you can basically be the only one paying. Uh, we also have it set up so that active military, uh, National Guardsmen and reservists also attend for free because well uh, we want to do everything we can to help support those folks. Okay well you know it's, it's a project that that I think we need to hear more about uh, Bob, and I, in fact, I, I want to attend one of these, I, and I'm hoping that I can attend one that, that you're actually going to be there so that we can maybe do some field things with the uh, camera work and, uh, and interview you and maybe talk to some of the shooters, get a little uh, feedback. Now, I know the closest one for me right now is going to be at uh, Piru, and that's coming up. Uh, tell me those dates again. Uh, the next Pyru shoot will be uh, August 22nd and 23rd, okay. but Pyru, as I said, being a designated Appleseed range, will have monthly shoots every month okay. of the year. Okay. Right. Probably closer to you, we will be having a uh, an event at Winchester Canyon Gun Club right. up in Santa Barbara, right. and that's going to be October 31st, November 1st over that weekend. Okay, well, we're looking forward to maybe attending one of those. Uh, uh, certainly the one here in Santa Barbara. Maybe we can organize something, uh, Bob, and, and get the camera folks up there and really come back on and, and show people what you're doing and get some of that flavor and feeling that must take place as well as the history that goes along oh, with Oh, absolutely. Them. Okay, good. And, and you know, I, I like to say the rifle marksmanship is outstanding, but, but on top of that, the history is just as important. Mm -hmm. we, we cover the events of April 19, 1775, which is the battles of Lexington and Concord and the start of the American Revolution. And uh, that is a as important to this nation as the rifle marksmanship. Heritage is, is the glue that, that holds the country together. Yep, and right. uh, unfortunately, more and more of that is starting to slip away. So we want to make the efforts not to let that happen. Yeah, I, I like this program a lot, Bob. I really do. So, you know, uh, folks, if you want any more information, you can go to their website. If you need anything from me, I will certainly direct you to them. We're looking forward to coming out there and being with you, Bob. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thanks, James. It was great being here. Bye-bye.